What's up, YouTube? Yes! We got, what, 13 days? 13 days and like 7 hours until Madden season? Yes, 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 the hype is real. As you can see above me, I'm logged into Madden. Madden 22, 45 million coins! If you need a reason to follow me on Twitter, if you need a reason to watch my YouTube videos, if you need a reason to watch my streams coming up this year, well, there's 45 million reasons to do that, right? Yes, sir. Today, corners and free safety ratings were announced for base elites. Let's take a look. Coming in at number 10 for cornerbacks, Darius Slay, one of my favorite corners. As you can see right here, 85 zone. This is not going to hit the 90 threshold. None of this is going to hit the 90 threshold. So how good is this card going to be? Not very good at all. It's going to play average. That's just how it works. Coming in at number 9 for corners. An 85 overall, overall Kendall Fuller. Nothing great. I mean, guys, nothing great. I'm gonna. It's nothing, There's no 90. You know, it is, it is what it is. Coming in at number 8, Indianapolis Colt Kenny Moore the second look at this 85 zone again 72 press this is probably worse than the other cards to be honest with you because usually there is a threshold at 80 without an 80 press uh, you know man's gonna be tough at number seven aj terrell again nothing to write home about but i mean at least it's better than the last guy number six tredavious white little surprise to see him down here 85 speed better 86 acceleration even better than what we had before again nothing's gonna hit the 90 threshold so who knows exactly maybe they change thresholds i i don't know we don't know until the game comes out number five denzel ward an 84 speed that's surprising a little bit 86 acceleration pretty good 85 agility pretty good again not gonna have a problem with any of these other stats are about as good as everybody else number four trayvon diggs the guy that allowed over a thousand yards receiving but also had a million interceptions Pretty good year if you like interceptions. Pretty bad year if you are you like giving if you don't like giving up yards. So 87 zone, pretty good, pretty good. Again, who knows what the power up situation? I still think there's going to be something out there that's going to allow you to power up cards. I I just have a strange feeling that that's how it's going to be. I don't know why they would take it out of the game because training's still in the game. However, training is kind of reduced, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Power-ups kind of kept the prices high, so I'm not sure what, what they're going to do exactly. Coming in at number three, Xavier Howard. Again, 85 press. So maybe there is a threshold on 80 to 84, and so then 85 to 89 will be okay. Who knows, right? Who knows? That'll have to be some testing. The only thing that worries me is 83 speed, but again, I don't know. Speed matters. Speed definitely matters, but on a corner, it seems like if he was to go against like a speed of 86, he would still be fine. Number two, J.C. Jackson, 88 man. Now that's where, you know, that's where it kind of comes into strategy cards, plus power up, maybe plus team chemistry. You know, maybe he can get to 90 with man, and if he can, that would obviously make him a really good man corner. 83 press, pretty good. Again, uh, you know, he's clearly the second best right now, I would say. Slot archetype, I don't know. I don't know what the difference really is. And then number one corner, Jalen Ramsey. This card actually looks extremely good. Extremely good. Um, again, we don't know if man coverage can get buffed to 90. We have no idea. I mean, we'll find out that all that stuff very, very soon. 86 speed. I mean, Jalen Ramsey, I didn't realize he was fast. I didn't know he was fast, faster than Denzel Ward. Uh, but apparently he is. So, great card, though. Definitely a good card. Um, will I go for any of these cards? Yeah, probably the lower ones just to, to keep my team going. Um, it depends on what I want to run, man, or zone. Doesn't really, you know, that, that'll that make a difference in what I who I choose. So, here's your list of all top ten. Again, Darius Slay, Kendall Fuller, Kenny Moore, AJ Terrell, Tredavious White, Denzel Ward, Trayvon Diggs, Xavier Howard, Jay-Z Jackson, Jalen Ramsey. Do I have a preference? Not really. I think they're all kind of the same. To be honest with you, I don't see, you know, this one, this one can get to 90 mana, or this one, I can't remember. 
I think all three of these guys can get to man coverage with a couple buffs. So maybe, um, maybe I know there's a purple strategy card this year. Maybe that gives you plus two. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Nobody really knows. It's all hearsay at this point. Probably next week we'll find out a little bit more. But as of right now, this is the base elite top ten. So before we talk about safeties right here, let's take a look at this. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Coming in at number 10 for safeties is J. Ron Curse from the Dallas Cowboys. Again, we're looking at, you know, pretty low numbers. Honestly, it's about the same. It's about the same as, as corners. Number nine, Jeremy Chin. Pretty good acceleration. Actually, real good acceleration. He might be a card that I look at. His zone's a little bit low. You'd want him at 80 at least. Um, you know, being the zone archetype means he probably can get, you know, deep route KO or something like that, um, you know, at a lower price. But it'll be interesting to see exactly how the abilities work. Coming at number eight, Harrison Smith. 85 acceleration with 83 zone. I like it with 85 power. I like it. At the start of the year, the Harrison Smith cards always seem to be okay, right? It's it's usable. As the year goes on, Harrison Smith gets worse and worse and worse. So I like the fact that this card is usable at the start. I probably actually will get this card. Why? Because he's a Viking. No other reason. His stats his stats aren't going to kill me. That's what that's what I'm looking for. Coming in number seven, Jordan Poyer, 86 pursuit. Don't know if that even matters. To be honest with you, pursuit angles are you know next to terrible but 68 power definitely not a guy i'm going to be looking at uh but he comes in at number seven number six justin simmons stats looking okay 79 power a little lower than i'd like uh zone archetypes okay fine you know a 78 man not good which wouldn't that use him anyways if you're using cover two you're putting him in a zone anyways or you're using him user in them in 335 or or whatever you're playing so 84 speed pretty good i don't remember his height height does matter at this spot though coming in at number five derwin james jr looks like a great card actually 80 play rec which does matter uh, again zone is probably means more than play rec but 84 zone 83 power 86 acceleration looking good actually looking good he can definitely play for me uh, probably more probably in the cover two he would be fine or cover three Number four, Amani Hooker. I have not, I'll be honest with you, I watched football last year, but I never really paid attention to the Tennessee Titans. So I don't even know who this guy is. Um, yeah, uh, 86 zone, good zone. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you about him. Coming in at number three, Adrian Phillips. Again, looking good. Play rec 86. Not bad. 86 acceleration, 87 zone. That's pretty good. Power 71, a little lower than I like. 84 speed. Looking pretty good, though. I, I don't see much of a difference between this guy, though, and, say, the guy that's 7th or 8th. Number two, Jesse Bates the third. Looking good. Looking good. Definitely better than the last guy. Right, 85, 85 speed, 86 acceleration, pretty good, 87 zone. We don't know if you can boost them up to 90. 90 is kind of where you want to get. Uh, at least it has been in the last three formatting. So we'll see what this one is. We'll see how this plays at the start of the year. And the number one safety, Kevin Bayard. Again, 88 zone. So that means if you power him up, which we don't know if there's power-ups, right? We don't know anything about key, team chemistry. We don't know anything about the strategy cards, really. But if you can get him to 90 zone, he'll definitely be the best free safety in the game, especially with zone archetype, play rec good, power, you know, average, um, stuff like that. I'm sure you can get his power up to 90 and, or 80 any, anyways. But Kevin Bayard. So here's the top 10 again. You got... Apparently, the Tennessee Titans are going to be the best team in the game. It looks like that uh, on different levels. The Tennessee Titans are going to be absolutely incredible. But look at that. J. Ron Curse. I'm a little surprised he is where he is. Harrison Smith, who I consider one of the best safeties in the game. Obviously, I'm a little biased on that one. Uh, Adrian Phillips, good card. Derwin James. I've always loved Derwin James and how he plays. He, um, so not too bad. But anyways, guys, that is the top 10 safeties and top 10 corners. Yes, sir. Madden season. I hope you're excited.